Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 75 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. I love how every time I say to the sky, I look up to the sky. Anyway, uh, today we're going to continue with our mana and artifice um, progression. So uh, I looked through the book here, and one of the things it mentions is bone ash, saying that the rune forges heat is able to break down bones into fine ash and, and should be able to use it for multiple purposes. So I went ahead and threw some bones in here so that we get bone ash being generated along with our other stuff. Because it sounds like it's needed. It's in the basic section of the book, so it sounds like we're going to need quite a bit of it. I don't know. Um, anyway, so let's go and look through the book. So we have a couple things. We have rituals, we have sorcery, rune smithing, mana weaving, artifice, um, and constructs, which are like little minions that you can use to do stuff. Um, so let's start out with rituals. Do we want to do rituals or do we want to do a spell? Let's do let's do let's do a spell. Um, so in order to start, we need to make vellum. Um, Basic paper seems unable to take spells. Vellum seems to be a better candidate. I can make vellum by working leather in water. Any source of standing water will do, but better results if it's in a cauldron. So let's go ahead and grab a cauldron. And you can go away. Let's get some leather. We don't have that much leather, do we? Um, we do have cow essence, though, so we can make leather. Give me my arrow back. Okay, so uh, leather, cauldron, good to go. Let's grab our water bucket. And we can set our cauldron up like back here with water. Um, and all we have to do is right click this and it uses the water. Let's just make a whole stack of this stuff and it's just creating vellum, which is paper. At this point, I'm tired of clicking. Let's craft up a sink. Is that bad? I'm tired of having to click my bucket of water into there, so I'm going to um, pipe water in from a sink. Is that bad? Is that bad? I don't know. Oh, you can't pipe water into this? Hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, okay. I guess I have to do it the uh, old manual way. I didn't want to do it that way. I'm lazy. I want to automate all the things. Uh, where did my bucket of water go, I guess? All right. Not even that hard. It would be even better if I moved this over. And then I did the double roll anyway. Get down the stairs. Thank you. Sometimes this jetpack, the one it makes you fly, is uh, kind of annoying. This is thrilling and engaging YouTube content, isn't it? I just want to get a stack of this stuff so we don't have to worry about it later. Just fill back up in case you need it. Okay. Oh, and one stack of leather turns into two stacks of vellum. Nice. Next in our book, so making vellum, um, and then back to sorcery, making leather. We already did this. Scribing spells. I need to set up a proper workspace for me to get spell ideas from my head onto paper. A table with all the proper places to store everything, paper that is designed to accept, magical script, and the proper ink. So we need the inscription table, which we have here. Let's go ahead and put our bucket of water away. Uh, we can go ahead and add our vellum here. And we're going to need a couple other things. We need... Arcanist ink. Arcanist ink. Which requires us to get purified Ventium dust, which is Ventium dust in the Arcane Ash. Okay, so let's grab some of that. I make a stack of that. Uh, these flowers from Mana and Artifice. Uh... We've been getting them from the mobs that have been dropping up in our mob farm. And I pointed up with my other hand for some reason. Not that either hand matters. You can't see either hand, but that's what I did. I pointed up just to let you know. Um, anyway, Arcanist Ink. Let's grab. It does not stack. Okay, so that's good to know. So we can put that in there. The UI has a little bit of lag when you load it up. 
I'm not sure why. Um, so there's our Vellum Arcanist ink. We did the Arcane Compound. What else do we need? Um, we need Arcane Compound and Arcane Ash. Which one do we need, though? My book is broken. It will not go back a page. There we go. Uh, once I've got all that together, I can get started. I need to pick a way to shape the spell. This will be the way it targets the world. I'm sure there are several shapes I can learn. Arcane Compound into Arcane Ash. I guess it just depends. Which one do we need? I'm going to assume it's Arcane Ash because the compound turns into the ash, correct? Yes. And you are done with the Ventium. So I think we're okay here. Um, let's go ahead and move this Arcane Compound over to this one and let that run. Okay, so spellcrafting. Um, you got all that together, you need a way to target, so that's like your self, touch, things like that. You need to pick a component so the spell actually does something. That alone is enough to make a basic spell. I can think of several aspects of spells that could be modified, add in modifiers. When it's all written out, I need to give the arcane ash time to imbue the ink to an actual spell. And then allow the ritual that follows to create. Okay, so we go from the spell, put it on the paper, and then create um do a ritual to actually make the spell okay so that seems like the progression path here so it's a good thing we decided to do a spell first versus a ritual so let's see let's do um what if we did self or what if we do touch Let's do something interesting. What is Earth Sky? Touch Collapse? Felled Oak? That looks like a top center tree. Um, let's do Touch Break. A simple, simple spell that allows you to... Oh, wait, you know what? One of our things is craft a spell with complexity 15 or more. So let's do one of these ones. Yeah. You are... Crystallize. From what I understand, Crystallize allows you to capture mobs. Slow. I'm looking at the reagents as well to see if there's anything like complicated we're going to need. For all of this stuff, it's going to require some slime. I don't know what that is. It's going to require some of this. I think it's mana weave fiber. Okay. Uh, so let's go with let's go with Crystallize. We'll try this. It's a complexity of 15. So let's go ahead and that is it, correct? We click the button and it starts writing this onto the vellum. Okay. So then from there, once it gets wrote, oh, that's cool. Look, you can see the pen dipping, the feather and quill dipping and doing all the stuff. So from there, we have to do a ritual scribing spells crafting spells after scribing a spell at the inscription table i'll need to perform a ritual to infuse magic i call it the ritual of arcana i can use the spell recipe to check what i need for the ritual i wrote it all down when i scribed the spell the ideology is that the raw magical essences from the ingredients are absorbed into the spell and allow you to channel your will through it okay so we need to get into the spell crafting but let's grab our spell so this should craft a spell with complexity 15 or more? No, we haven't finished this yet. Okay. Oh, that's cool. If you look on your bar, it tells you how much of your mana this spell will use. See how it's like a uh, pink? So if I whoop, do that, it fills back up. I need to gather up the following reagents for the Ritual of Arcana. So we're going to need a lead, two Ventium dust, a block of clay... Ventium dust. I think it was two of those, right? Clay block. Um, one feather, and then these two things, which we don't know about yet. And then there was foci. Wasn't that what it was called? Focus. Sorry. Mystic Focus and Mana Weave Silk? Wasn't that what it was called? Infused Silk, sorry. Infused Silk. 
Okay, so we have everything we need except for these two things. What is a mystic focus? So that is actually pretty simple. We can make a stack of those if we wanted to. Yeah, we do. We just needed one of those? Two of those. Okay. Your focus needs more focus. So those are easy. Um, and then this is a mana weaving altar spell. So we need wool, string, and then one of those focuses. So let's see what we need to do for mana weaving. Wool, string. And was it a specific color of wool or did it not matter? Any kind of wool. And then we just have to draw a square or also known as a quadratum, a quadratum. So if my understanding of this is correct, what we do is put our wool, our focus, and our string. I'm going to go ahead and elevate this a little bit. And then we just have to draw a square. Okay, you can't get much better of a square than that. That is not a circle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't understand. How can I be doing a better square? And now it's not recognized. What is going on? I swear. It's like it stops. It's like not wanting to. Oh, I'm running out of mana. Apparently this costs mana. I did not know that. That makes sense, but also frustrating at the same time because it's not accepting my square. That is not a circle. See, now that's not going to work. Square. Oh my goodness, if this tells me my square is a circle one more time. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know there's projectors. There's these, not those, these things. We need a villager. We're deviating. Let's go. Um, so for villagers, um, they need a... Is it a mana weaving altar or is it a rune forge? It's a rune forge. Let's make another rune forge. That is highly frustrating. Um, let's get our easy villager trading stuff. Let's get our trader. Set you up just right here. Give me that. Give me that. And we can put you in there. You should clear. And you know what? He's locked his trade in, so he's not going to change. Okay. Need another villager. Incubator. Do you have a villager in you? You do. Go in there. Spellmonger. Do the thing. Okay, so... Nine Vintium ingots are going to get me the Codex. And from what I understand, this guy's going to sell me the patterns. No. Oh, did I not? I didn't do the trade. There we go. Um, okay, let me get some emeralds. Give me some Vintium dust, I guess. Give me some more Vintium dust, I guess. You're just going to sell me the flowers? Hmm. Give me some flowers. Yeah, okay, never mind. This guy ain't doing what I want him to do. That is the guy, the mana weaver. Ah, should have made a mana weaving altar. And this guy's going to have all his trades locked in now, so we're going to have to breed up another villager quick. 
That is annoying. Give me that. Go away. Give me that. Go away. Um, so we need our easy villager, incubator, and breeder. Y'all need some potatoes. And you need some time in a bottle. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, why is nothing wanting to work? Let's draw a square. <laughs> And these guys didn't even create me a villager. <laughs> Can I? There we go. Give me that. Get out of here. All right. So that was that. And then the incubator. I got to put this guy in there. He's going to grow. Grow quickly. Thank you. Get out of here. All right, so you go in there and there, and now he gives us the mana weaving patterns. This is what we wanted the whole time. All right, so give me this. This is the triangle. This is something, don't know. What I need is the square. That's an Orbeus, I'm gonna assume that's a circle. Really, you're gonna send me the same thing twice? Okay, just give me a bunch of triangles, okay? Quadratum. Thank you. Let's just delete those extra ones. Do I have a turnum? Nope. Okay. All right. So that's it for now. And then these can just be deleted. Okay. So now if we get a mana weave projector, which is that recipe, it's a mana reservoir and a mana weaving wand. And it is going to use your mana weaving wand. So you're going to need to make another one. And now if we put this here, it will take drain mana from us. And if I put the thing I want to draw on there and then I smack it, it will drain mana from there and it will draw the square for me. And then I don't got to worry about it. This is the way we are going to be doing things. Let's get a bunch of these mana weave altars. Just craft up a stack of this stuff. Four. And then two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. That gives us five of these. I think that should be enough. And let's get a chest to hold all these patterns. We can get rid of this, put the chest here, and then these things can go there. Yeah, okay. And if we need more, well, we can do the whole villager thing and get more. But now at least we can, you know, do this. It's going to fill these up with my mana in the interim. But now at least we have the infused silk. Uh, and is that it for our recipe? Yes. Okay, cool. Finally. 
Goodness gracious, that was much harder than it needed to be. Okay, so that is crafting spells, and we need to perform the ritual of Arcana, which is this ritual, which means we're going to need some form of chalk. So let's go to mana chalk. Wizard chalk. That is made from the bone ash and the vintium dust. So let's grab that bone ash. Let's just go ahead and actually just grab all of this. Dump it into our system. We only need two. And get some wizard chalk. Okay, and then we need to do this ritual. Um, and isn't there a way to pin this? Yes, though my jetpack kind of makes that a little bit difficult. That's okay. So let's do this over here. So what do we need to do? We are looking at a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, nine. Nine by nine square. I believe these are 11 by 11. Yeah, the internal is a nine by nine. So if we do these on the internal, so it's going to be like here, here, space, not there, here, and then here, 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 here. I'm sure you guys don't want to just hear me keep saying here over and over again, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Two. Okay, there is our ritual. Uh, so then what we have to do is put this in the center and then shift right click it maybe let's look up our nope okay so let's go to rituals initial setup uh more in-depth magical castings draw the pattern on the ground using wizard's chalk the orientation doesn't matter then activate the center using purified ventium dust okay so we need purified ventium dust So if I do this, okay. And then as far as I know, if you, uh, you have to place the items in these spots, but if you use an empty hand, it will place them for you. So you don't have to, you know, hunt and peck around in your inventory for the items that are requested. And then I believe you have to use purified Ventium dust again. Yes. And that will activate the ritual. And there we go. That is a... Oh, no. Okay. I said I was going to. I lied. I lied. Oh, no. I need a triangle. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. That now recognizes a square. I draw a triangle and it recognizes it as a square. What in the world? Let's grab a triangle and this guy. Hopefully it retains that mana that was inside of it. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, well. Draw me a triangle. And then what's next? Oh, my lovely square. My favorite of my things. Um, let's grab the orb and the square. All right, so next you are going to do square. And then Orbius, which is the circle. Okay, goodness gracious. Give me my spell. And we can go put our papers back. And I'm just going to leave that over there so that we can do our recipes over there. Honestly, I guess I don't really need all of these. I can just, you know, you know what I'm saying? But if I do like, you know, we can have this always be triangle. No, give me that. This one can always be circle. And then these two could be the ones that change depending on.
And yeah, what are you? A turnum. So you are. Oh, I lack the knowledge to do this anyway. Okay, so we'll just put it away. All right. Um, and now we got a spell. Spell touch crystallized. And I now that I think about it, I probably should have done a spell that I can spam so I can reach magic level 15 easier, but that's okay. Um, so all I got to do is cast this spell. So let's go teleport to the other and crystallize an enemy out there. Come to me something. Let's crystallize this blaze. Oh, okay. I don't know what I just did. You're missing the required reagents to cast this spell. What does that mean? Alts to see the required ingredients. Ah, we need a diamond in our inventory. So it's going to crystallize them into a diamond. I see how this is going to work. Target is too powerful. Okay, well, how about you? Target's too powerful. Okay, how about you? Target's too powerful. Okay. How about you? Target's too powerful. Okie dokie. Was this the wrong spell to use? Uh, I'm going to assume an Enderman's going to be too powerful. Give me that. Oh, you're not even a skeleton. You're a dread thrall. Brett, how about this creeper? Okay. How about you? This probably has to be used on passives now that I think about it. Um, like a chicken or a duck. I don't know why I said duck. I don't know anywhere there's ducks. Uh, okay, so this is extremely unfortunate because we don't have any passive animals around here anymore. And this probably would work on passive animals. Okie dokie. Well, that is absolutely unfortunate because we just did all this work and this spell is not probably going to work for us um do i have like don't i have a rabbit mob imprisonment tool i do i don't have an easy mob duplicator set up though uh quantum and tingle porter Flux point. Point. I know I had two points in here. Where'd they go? It's because they have. Yeah, look at all these. Look, I do have extra points. Wow. It's because I named them. Can we uh can I reset these? Yes. There we go. All right, let's just come over here. We're going to duplicate a rabbit real quick. Uh, essence output set fluids to the right. Okay, turn off though. All right, let's see if we can't capture a rabbit. Do not tell me a rabbit is too powerful. Get over here, rabbit. Oh, did I put the diamonds away? I did. All right, rabbit, get over here. Get over here. Okay, I caught a rabbit. Caught a rabbit. If it's too far away, then it keeps opening up that inventory or that menu. Come here, rabbit. There we go. I got a rabbit trapped inside of a diamond. I'm going to assume I can just right click. Yeah, easy peasy. Come back. Stop it. Stop it. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh my goodness. Get. I swear on me, mum. Get over here. Okay, rabbit. <laughs> you 
You're making me crazy. Okay. I got a lucky rabbit's foot. Ooh, what does this do? Uh, potion of luck. All right. Cool. Mess with me, rabbit. Freaking kept running away from me. All right. Let's see. What else do we need to do for us to tier up to tier two? Um, 10 of the 12. We just need to do two more of these. Right? Yes. What is a bone feather charm and an ender charm? Bone feather charm. What do you do? It snaps instead of your shins. Uh, all right. We can do this. Bone feather string die ventium. Feather string die ventium. I think it was two feathers, right? Bone feather. This is what we're working on. But we're going to have to work on this next episode because it is wrapping up point. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.